I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a snowy owl, which is a tundra animal. I'm going to take two fingers over here on the right hand side and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, draw a curve line out, in, and leave that floating. Come back over here to the left and we're just going to draw a big curve line down, down, down and leave it floating. Come back up right here in the center and we're going to draw a curve line down, down, curve line, curve line down and leave it floating. Come back up right here on this space and let's continue that curve line, curve line, curve line down, connect, Come back over here on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line down, 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 and leave it floating because right here at the bottom we're going to go curve line out, curve line in, out, in, connect. We're going to come over here on the left hand side and we're going to draw a curve line up, connect, come back down, curve line out, up, connect, curve line out, up, connect, and leave it floating. Okay. Now come all the way back up to the top. And we're going to draw a straight diagonal on the right, straight diagonal on the left. Come back to the right, draw a curve line up, connect on the right, curve line up, connect on the left inside. Curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Right here in the center, <clears throat> excuse me, put a dot and we're going to draw a diamond. Straight diagonal out, down on the left, straight diagonal out, down, connect on the right. Okay, now come all the way back down here on the bottom and we're going to start on the left and draw a wavy line, bam, it crashes in, jump over, wavy line off the page. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, here's the deal about these tundra animals. They're all in their winter coats, so it's really hard to see them as a good lesson for animal camouflage. And the snowy owl is a good example of that. The only parts you're really going to color are the inside curved lines, yellow, maybe make his beak a little bit yellow. Get your black crayon and they have little tips, which I'm going to use dotted lines, little tips of their feathers have these little black animal markings. So they have them on their tail, they have them on their chest. There's no rhyme or reason, but you do need to add a little bit. And they have them also on their wings. Now, how do you make this look like it's in the winter time? Okay, first off, I need to add another curved line. Sorry. Connect. And next, we're going to use a big fat blue crayon, and we're going to use the sides of it. Because this is really the only color you have on your snowy owl. He's sitting in the snow. But it's like, how do you draw snow? Take a big fat blue crayon and color it in that way. And this is his claw. This is one of his claws. So take your black crayon and color that in. Okay, let's see what Mr. Snowy Owl looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Mr. Snowy Owl, Tundra Animal, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.